Hey, Craig here. So this is uh, part two, uh, back to uh, putting the, the mini mill, the Harbor Freight mini mill back together. In this video, we're going to be uh, cleaning up and putting the, uh, the Y and the X back together. And then we'll see how far we get. I don't know if we're gonna get into the electronics or not. As I said in the other video, that might be a separate video, but uh, all right, let's get started. Okay, so we're starting with the y-axis of course because that needs to go on before the uh, the x there uh, I got this all cleaned up here uh, it wasn't too bad there was a surprisingly a large amount of uh, grease in there which really shouldn't have been there I guess um, should have been oil so um, got the gib all cleaned up um, so so this was the the main axis that was giving me problems and was the main thing that led me to Getting the uh, getting a Tormach, um, the uh, the x-axis was uh, I don't know when I looked at it it was like wobbling, so I sent it back to uh, CNC Fusion or Fusion CNC whatever it was called, and um, they sent me a new one. I, mean, I don't know if it was something that they had done or maybe I had bent it while I was c cutting steel too much. I'm not sure what. The, what the uh, what it was, but um, I just went through one of my uh, my old videos about how to put this back together, so I'm not like wasting a bunch of time putting it together. Um, so, all right, well, I think I'm going to start off by putting some some oil on first um, to make sure it's oiled up good here. Before I put it together, some oil here where it counts here. Oh, that's the wrong side. That's the that's the X. Um, get it nice and oiled up. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the gib on. And that goes with the uh, the holes facing towards the screws there. I've already backed them out, I think, enough for it to grab. Oh, I got it going the right way there. Okay, so I got that on. I'm just going to slide this on. Okay, that slides pretty smooth there. Oop, got the gib falling out. Um, now let me go ahead and snug up the gib a little bit so it's not falling out. Okay, here we go. smooth all right okay so the next thing is to uh, put this on its back so I'm gonna lean this thing back uh, so I can put the uh, the ball screw in there and the uh, this part on I think I'm supposed to put this thing on first and then put the ball screw in okay well I think I vaguely remember the fact that you actually have to put this up in first and then put this in uh, I think I may have mentioned in the previous in the video that I did a long time ago that you're supposed to put this and then this um, but anyways yeah I actually had to cut out with a sawzall a bit of metal here because of the length of this um, but so basically just need to making sure not to lose your bearings here put this up through like this and then put this on there and then but I think you have to back the you have to back the the ball screw down far enough to get into this hole right here so 
Uh, let me get a pair of cutters to cut this zip tie. I guess they put the zip tie to zip tie on here to keep this from coming off and then having all the balls fall out. Um, so we'll go ahead and cut that off. Seems a little crunchy. Uh, probably hasn't had oil in it for a long time. Just get that far enough down to fit in there. I guess they had to make it this long to get this ball nut to fit all the way down to the end or something. Uh, so. Alright, so that sets right in there like that. You gotta make sure that you line this thing up well so it doesn't bind. I think that was one of the problems I was having before is getting this set screw in the right place so it's on the right angle. It's kind of a little tricky, but um, so I'll go ahead and put the screws in here to keep this from moving around. I'm not going to cinch that down completely just yet. Just uh, all right. Yeah, I'll just yeah, I'll tighten them down. Tighten that. Right, got that all done. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that this is the ball screw is running straight. You know, it's not going up or down like this. Um, looks like it's the same one, a number five for this one. You may have to play around with this set screw in the position of this, just to make sure it doesn't bind. There's like an eighth of an inch of play going back and forth this way. So, first I thought it was hitting down here, but it's just the position of, of this. Uh, I guess I should put the nuts on here to make sure that this is pulled all the way up. I'll just make these finger tight and worry about tightening them down fully later. Looks like once you get these tightened up finger tight here there's less play this way so you got a better idea of where it can be. I just try to figure out the best place for it before tightening it up. Uh, to keep it from binding when it's moving. Well, I'll probably play around with this for a little bit and try to get it uh, moving freely. Okay, I finally got it moving uh, pretty smoothly now. What I ended up doing is I just ended up sticking one of the, uh, the Lovejoy couplings on here. Now, you know, I was wondering about that Lovejoy couplings. Uh, it actually... It's called Lovejoy because I guess that's the brand or something it said Lovejoy right there. <laughs> um, so what I ended up doing was um, I just kept putting more oil on the ball nut there, running it up and down. I actually left the uh, the set screw back in there that connects this, um, you know, to the uh, to the axis. I left that a little loose, and I kept running it up and down until it was. Uh, relatively smooth and then I tightened it down you know so, so it had some play to like kind of adjust itself you know and then I tightened it down and ran it up and down a couple more times and that seemed to do the trick there um, 
it still feels a, a hair crunchy um, it may just need to have more oil worked into it or something or maybe there's some chips in there or something um, but it seems to be real smooth towards the bottom it may just be the fact that I'm pulling it up too I'm not sure but um, it's a hair tighter when you get closer to here I'll just play around with it and and get it pretty uh, pretty good there all right well um, I guess the next thing to do is to uh, put the uh, the cover on here um, there's a this is the uh, the plate the adapter plate for the stepper motors yeah dust it off a little bit here um, all right so there's uh, this takes six screws um, two screws are specifically just to connect this plate to the uh, this I don't know this is like a, a C channel or something like that they didn't even have to like machine it I think they just cut it and machined it flat and drilled and tapped some holes in it um, the other two screws are actually for the stepper motors but two of them actually go into this so um, the screws just pass through this plate so we'll just tighten that up kind of loose there and then uh, take the other screws out here put the uh, Lovejoy uh, rubber cushion thing whatever that is put that in there and then uh, this is the one that takes uh, oh I think that's a number eighth inch uh, this is the one that takes an eighth inch this one's uh, SAE or whatever American we'll uh, raise it up a bit so it's not touching the nuts directly um, we find the uh, y-axis here this has already got the other side of the love joy on here point the wires down and then uh, install the screws for the stepper here got both metric and American Allen's here trying to keep them straight all right that's all on there me uh, Tighten up the love joy. It's this one. Tighten up this one on the this side. It seems to be running pretty smooth there still. Um, I think I need a couple of small wrenches to tighten that up I'll, I'll worry about that later um once i get everything dialed in here all right well let me tilt this thing back up and see where we're at okay i got the thing all turned back up right um i did manage to i, I double checked the uh the other set screw on the other side of the lovejoy um and i, I managed to get those two lock nuts uh jam nuts uh tightened up there i just used uh what was a nine sixteenths or something like that wrench 
and uh, a pair of um, pliers. Uh, ideally, you need to have two you know, skinny wrenches, but... All right, well, I guess the next thing to do is to move on to the, uh, the X. Okay, well, it looks like that's all we have time for on this video. Uh, I guess this is probably going to end up being uh, like a four-part video. Um, the next video, we're going to do the, uh, the X-axis, um, put the, uh, the way covers back on, and we'll see how that goes. We'll probably go into the fourth video, which is the, uh, the electronics. Um, and uh, get all the wires hooked up to the computer. I gotta find a monitor and uh, see if we can get this thing uh, alive. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, there should be a subscribe button. Uh, Patreon, if you'd like to support us there, there should be a link here someplace some other videos you might like to watch. And as always, thanks for watching.